So, you don't understand the Z-Modeler brush. Not a problem. Now, I always personally wondered why on ArtStation a lot of beautiful professional artwork stuff would be like sculpted in ZBrush and hard surface done in 3D Max or Maya or Blender or literally anything except ZBrush. It was really weird to me and I just kind of assumed ZBrush was not capable of poly modeling and just ignored this for a while. But as I got deeper into it, I realized it isn't that it's not capable of poly modeling. It's just the poly modeling tool is so weird, confusing, poorly explained, and super Super unintuitive. It is so obscure and unusual that I'm gonna give it its own entire series. Because once you get used to it, it's actually extremely powerful. But for now, I'm just gonna explain the fundamentals of what it is. Anytime you want to poly model one face, edge, or vertice at a time, you are gonna press B, Z, and M for the Z modeler brush. This is ZBrush's poly modeling power tool. Imagine if someone stuffed all of the Blender modeling abilities into a single brush. That is what this tool is. In Blender, when you tab to edit mode, you can flop between face edge and point modes, but in ZBrush, all three are active at the same time. And all three will do different things depending on what settings you have. So if you hover your mouse over a point and then right click, you will see all the point options. But if you hover your mouse over an edge and right click, you will see completely different options. And if you hover your mouse over a face, once again, you will see a completely different set of options to choose from that only exist when working with faces. In addition to having three completely separate layers of commands, depending on what your mouse is hovering over, once you select an option, you will then get more options asking you to specify the target of the option below. And again, this can be different depending on whether you're working with faces, edges, or points. So that feeling that you're having right now, this what the f feeling, that is the exact reason why most people just say f I'm just gonna hard surface in Blender, or Maya, or Max, or literally any other normal modeling software. Most people just aren't willing to spend three weeks getting lost and figuring this shit out. But lucky for you guys, you don't have to spend the next three weeks hating your life because I've spent the last three weeks hating my life for you. So in the next 30 days, I'm about to unload about 90 videos explaining this entire tool once and for all, in order to make sure that no one else on this planet has to waste their time figuring out this ridiculous tool ever again. Real quick, I know I make short tutorials, but please understand understand I usually spend days or weeks researching or practicing the content I present before it ever becomes a tutorial. It's not easy and it takes a lot of time. And YouTube keeps flagging my content and trying to demonetize me for having quote unquote inappropriate content for children. But I've argued with them before, which I know is completely ridiculous, but the point is, if you think the content on this channel is valuable, please consider joining the support squad. It really would be impossible to keep doing this without them, because YouTube definitely thinks I'm evil. If it wasn't for Patreon, this channel would have fallen apart a long time ago. And hey, if you can't support, you don't have any means, listen, I understand completely. There's two real easy and impactful things that you can do with no cost at all. And those are just let the ads play before each video and give it a thumbs up whenever you can. If you're feeling generous, just leave a comment. I love reading them when I can. And if you want to leave a comment and you have nothing to say, just type algo for the algorithm and you will be a hero on this channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. So I hope you're ready because we are about to explain the fuck out of this tool once and for all. As always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.